Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through software process. Guys, even in this step also, we are discussing just the outline guys. So basically, once we are going through process models or until SDLC, we will be just going through some introduction processes only. From SDLC, you will be concentrating mainly on how a project is made or how the project life cycle works. Okay, so these are just the outlines. So these are nothing but everything will be repeated guys. So that is the reason why I'll, I'm just giving you some some points in each step. Okay. So the software process consists of four major steps guys. Okay. That is nothing but software specification, development, validation, evolution. Okay. So a process is a set of activities associated results that provide the software product. So at the end you will be end up with, with the software product. Okay. So the four steps are. Software specification, development, validation and evolution. Okay, so now let us go through those steps. I'll be giving you one one line definition only. Okay, so software specification where customer and engineer defines the software that to be produced the constraints on the operations. So basically software specifications is nothing but the client and the developer will have a meeting guys they will be discussing about the requirements and they will be and the software developer will be giving his ideas like we can solve it in this way we can solve it in that way like that fine okay so i hope everyone got a small idea on this software specifications or software requirements and here remember that the both way interaction will be done like user will be saying his requirements and the client will be informing his answers or solutions to that okay so then software development where the software is designed and programmed so basically again this step is divided into multiple parts and this step is also divided into multiple parts guys so about those things we'll be discussing in our further lectures this is just an overview okay then software validation so basically you designed or you created a software right or you designed at least a software so now you'll be taking that software model or the product to your client that is nothing but the who gave your who gave you the project. So you'll be taking to him and he will be asking him, is this the project you want or not? You'll, he will be validating it. He will be checking it according to his requirement and he will be informing you that. Checking whether the software is up to the customer or slash client requirement or not. Then software evolution. The software must evolve to meet changes customer needs for future changes should also be possible. So basically you should remember one thing guys. So... The technologies that we are using today may not be used tomorrow. Okay. So previously whenever someone, okay, I'll be just taking a small example. So previously whenever someone is shooting a video or recording a video, they used to buy special cameras for that. But nowadays we are using mobile phones and even in mobile phones, the clarity is higher than the cameras, right? In most of the cameras I'm talking, I'm not talking about high end cameras. Okay. So that is nothing but evolution. So if there is any particular change in the client's requirement or in the technology, your project should adopt for it. So basically assume you made a website and you made it using some basic Java or something. And now there is another programming language which is really powerful and it is having many things. So now you should adopt or convert the project slowly into this language. If your requirements are too good with this language, according to your requirements only. Okay, so if you just draw a cycle, it will be in this way, guys. So initially, you will be specifying it. After that, you'll be developing it. After that, you'll be validating it. After that, you'll be evaluating it. So this process, the cycle continues. So after evaluation, you'll be getting new requirements. You'll be again specifying and the cycle will continue. Okay, so I hope everyone got a small basic idea on process software. Okay, okay, the software process. So in the next lecture, we will be going through a process framework, guys. So how a process framework will be looking, we'll be discussing about that in the next lecture. So I hope this video is clear for you. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.